Hello, good day to all of you. So in this video lecture, we are going to learn about the moon rotation and revolution. And also we'll look at the what are the phases of the moon which appear on a different hemisphere of the earth. Let's say in the north, what you are going to see and in the south and at the equator. So before starting the lecture, so we have some learning outcomes for this piece of lecture. So the first learning outcome is to understand and learn the moon rotation and revolution. And the second objective of this lecture is to know the phases of the moon appears on the earth from different hemispheres such as northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere and also we look at how the moon appears from the equator. So let's look at the rotation of the moon first. So the moon reflects the light from the sun just as the other planets. So it's not have the own source of energy as discussed in the previous lecture as well. So the time it takes for moon to rotate once around its axis is equal to the time it takes for moon to orbit around the earth. So it's mean we always look at the one side of the moon which is called near side of the moon. So this keeps the same side of the moon as mentioned. So facing toward the earth throughout the month. And obviously not throughout the month, but we still look at the near side of the moon throughout the time the moon has been formed. And does not orbit in equatorial planet of the earth or elliptic. And the earth's moon has the high angular momentum between each other. So this is a small video which is going to show you about the moon rotation and revolution. So I have been presenting here for four cases. The first one is moon without rotation. The second is moon without with rotation but it's a bit faster rotation. And the third case is moon with rotation. I mean the exactly rotation which moon rotates and the fourth one is the moonlight how the lights comes from the sun on the moon so let's start with the first case so in this case we have the synchronous rotation so let's say in this case the moon is without any rotation so over here you can observe moon is static so the right side goes on the other side then it comes to the same side. So in this case, moon is without any rotation. So the second case, which we are going to present here, is the moon with rotation, but it's a bit faster. So you can observe that the moon is with rotation. So from the earth, we can see all side of the moon like the right side which is the near and the other side is the far side but obviously this is not the correct rotation of the moon so the moon is rotating a bit slower as I mentioned so it's rotate the same it's rotate once in the same time it takes to complete one orbit so from here you can see this red part is appears from this side and it takes one rotation from here. So again, we are repeating this step. So you can see it's actually rotating and revolving. So rotating and revolving time is same. How much time it takes from here to reach here? The same time it takes to rotate around its, its axis. So that's why only we see the red part, which is the near side of the moon. So now we look at the moonlight. So when the sun is here, so we can't see any moon. So once moon is moving here, here, then you can see this is the full moon. Then again, going back. So obviously we are looking at only the red part. So now you can see the moon is becoming small and small. Also, we are going to look at more into details from this figure. So this is the figure which is actually 
if our moon is our sun is here so then the moon is like this then it's going to be bigger this bigger 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 and when we have the full moon so this is actually the full moon which is we can see on the middle of the month but after the full moon then it's going to be small small and suddenly dis disappear for one day and now we look at the lunar month so the lunar month is normally this is the form of one new moon until the succeeding new moon so if you look at an average lunar month which last actually 29.530575 days or it's actually around 29 days 12 hours and 44 minutes and 2 seconds days are shorter of the calendar month and do you know why is a day on the moon is same as the lunar month on the earth it's because like many other moons not only the earth moon but the other satellites so like many moons in the solar system the moon has the synchronous rotation so it takes the same time to spin once on its orbit as it does to complete one orbit around the earth so that is the fact that's why if you look at the surface of the moon so that also have the same length of the day as we have the same lunar day on the earth surface so did you know that the moon looks different from earth northern and southern hemisphere obviously you can see the earth if the moon is here so if a person is looking from the northern hemisphere he will be looking on this part of the moon but when a person is here on the southern hemisphere so it will be looking at this region of the moon so that's why the moon appears differently from the northern and southern hemisphere and obviously different from the equator as well so now let's look at the appearance of the moon from all hemispheres even north pole south pole equator so these are the observation so if if you are looking at the person if he is observing from the north pole so from north pole you can see the moon will be appearing like this so this is the first quarter then this is the full moon second quarter and the end of the month but when a person is looking from the northern hemisphere so it will be appearing a bit more tilted like this one so it will be like this then this the full moon is obviously same for all hemisphere but if you look at equator so you will be looking this way of the moon when it's a new moon and when it's ending obviously it will be same like this one and if a person observing a moon from the southern hemisphere so you can see the moon will be other way around so it will be flip and this full moon then when it's end of the month so more focus on the northern hemisphere so they have a specific name of the moon so when there is a new moon then waxing crescent and and this is the first quarter and the waxing gibbous then we have the full moon waning gibbous third quarter and when waning crescent so this is from the northern hemisphere so similar way we have from the southern hemisphere so the names are from here is a name is actually the same but obviously you will see the other side of the moon so this is the new moon then waxing crescent first quarter waxing gibbous then we have the full moon then waning gibbous third quarter then the waning crescent so these are the some names of the moons when it appears from the north and south hemisphere so if we compare our moon within the solar system the natural satellite so the moon is actually the fifth largest satellite of the solar system so the first one is ganymede which is from jupiter second is titan 
from Saturn, then Callisto, then Io, then the Moon comes in. And if we compare this all plan, all satellites from the Earth, so this is the size of the Earth, and other moons are smaller than the planets. So with that's all. Thank you so much, and I hope you have learned something about the moon rotation revolving and also the different phases of the moons on the different hemisphere so with that's all thank you so much and have a good day